guys, Dirty here from After Effects Basics, and today I'm gonna teach you how to create motion graphics using shapes. So grab some pen and papers because a buttload of information is coming your way. First, let's start by creating a new composition by clicking on this icon right here. Give it a name and make sure that the settings like resolution, frame rate, and duration are correct or to your likings. And then hit OK. Now to create a background first, select the rectangle tool from the toolbar or press Q on the keyboard. The keyboard. <laughs> <laughs> now drag a rectangle so it fills up the entire frame. With your shape selected, you'll see some styling options on top, such as the stroke, which will disable by clicking on this icon. Then click on the color picker and choose a fill color to your liking. Now we're gonna let the rectangle come in from the bottom right corner. To do that, open up the shape properties and expand the menu next to add. This will give you a list of extra properties that you can add to your shape. So let's select the trim pads property, expand it and set the offset to something around minus 300. Now, if you increase the end property, the shape will come in from the bottom right corner. In the beginning, set the end property to zero so that the shape disappears. We also enable animation for it. Move a couple of frames forward and increase the end percentage to 100. The rectangle is now animated, but it doesn't feel so smooth. To fix that, right click on the second keyframe, keyframe assistant, and then select easy ease in. This will make the movement of the shape smoothly stop. Now duplicate the shape to times with Ctrl or Command D and on each duplicate we will adjust the color to something different. Let's also offset both layers by a few frames so that each layer starts a little bit later than the previous one. Finally, to give the animation some motion blur, simply enable the motion blur option from the shape layer by clicking right here. You can disable motion blur for all the layers by clicking on this toggle button right here and that will prevent from your PC catching fire. Now, just kidding, you can just toggle motion blur off if you're having trouble playing back your video. Now, to add more of a better style to your animation, find the CC vignette effect in the effects browser and then drag and drop that onto the three shapes. If you want, you can adjust the vignette to your liking. So now we've got a background. Next, we're going to create a title. So click on the text tool on top or just hit Ctrl key on your keyboard. In our case, the text will be After Effects Basics. Now, I want the word basics to be underneath After Effects, so I have to make it a little bit bigger to do that. That's just simply select the word that you want to adjust and head over to the character tab. From here, increase the size and now as you can see the word basics overlaps with After Effects. So simply change the leading property for that. I mean, these character options are pretty straightforward, so just experiment with that, guys. Next, click on the anchor point tool or simply hit the Y shortcut on your keyboard. Then drag the anchor point to the middle of the layer and hold Ctrl to make it snap to the middle. Every animation that we're going to make will work around the center of the text layer or in other words that anchor point. You also want the text to be in the middle of the screen and you can take the layer and just place it in the middle or you can also up the alignment tab by going to the window menu on top and clicking align. Now center the text horizontally and vertically by clicking on these two buttons. All right, it's time to make the text pop up. And to do that, we're going to animate the scale property. Select the text layer and hit S on your keyboard. Then find the spot where you want the text to be present and create a keyframe. Move a few frames back and set the scale to zero. This will make the text scale up. Again, make the last keyframe ease in and enable motion blur. Now that already looks amazing. And speaking about amazing guys, we actually have a class on Skillshare where you can learn everything about Adobe After Effects. You will learn how to do motion and 3D camera tracking, via VIX, compositing, and they'll even teach you about advanced animations. After taking this class, you will have a complete fundamental understanding of Adobe After Effects, and you will be able to create your own visual effects and motion graphics. Thousands of students already love the class, and I'm sure that you will do too. And if you're new to the platform, you'll get your first month of Skillshare completely for free, which means that you'll have access to every single class. So definitely check it out by clicking the first link in the description down below. And now let's go back to After Effects. Click on the pen tool or just press G on your keyboard and then simply draw a new line like this. Just make sure that you don't have another layer selected, otherwise you'll create a new shape within that same layer. Remove the fill color by clicking on the word fill on top and then click on the none icon. This will remove the fill color. Next, click on the stroke color and pick one that you like. Next, choose your desired thickness by increasing the amount of pixels. Now let's give the stroke some round edges. Expand the layer properties, contents, 
and then the stroke property. Change the cap of the stroke to round cap and now your line looks a lot smoother on the edges. Now if you want to make it look even better then expand the taper property and change the end length to whatever looks good to your line. And now let's make that cute little line move. So select your shape and open up the little menu next to add. Select trim paths, we've seen this before. Expand it and enable the stopwatch icon for the start property. Move a second or two forward in time and set the start percentage to 100. Do the same thing for the end property, but let it happen a few frames further. And look at that cute little worm that I created, isn't that beautiful? And now we can duplicate this layer and change the shape path for every line separately. The idea is to get these animated lines on different spots, then you get something like this. Next we're gonna add some water drops. You know that circle thingy that appears when you're throwing a pebble in the water? Well click and hold on the shape icon and select the ellipse tool. Draw a perfect circle by holding shift on your keyboard. Again make sure that there's no fill color, only a small stroke like this. Navigate to the stroke properties of the circle and set a keyframe to the stroke width. Move a few frames forward and set the width to zero. This will make the circle disappear. Next you want to animate the scale from zero to 100. And make sure to select easy ease in on the last keyframe and now the water drop will look like this. And again just like with the lines you can duplicate your circle as much as you want and place it on different spots around your text. Just don't overdo it. Now I also added the After Effects logo to finish off the animation. That looks awesome. Now throughout this video you've noticed that I always use shortcuts. If you're starting out it is super important to get familiar with these as soon as possible. So here's a video on my left to help you with the 20 most important shortcuts I can highly recommend to watch that one. Thank you for watching guys and as always stay creative.